Hello everybody, I think, oh my goodness, Greg Ross rat trapping tips for the 28th of January 2022. Oh my goodness, I think this is about the fifth or sixth video I'm, I've made today. Making anyways, I've got home after doing uh, several checks on properties of my traps. I've resolved two uh, new separate rat problems for for different customers new customers and one of them was a new house and the rat had gotten into the new house and was eating the workmen's lunches as they finished the interior and at night he was coming down eating their cookies and stuff so i got him today and um and then the squirrel uh conundrum they told me it was a squirrel and lo and behold it was actually a squirrel that i caught in my trap today plus a rat right beside the squirrel so we got the both of them under that house where it was making a noise every night in their ceiling and their wall and they told me today that they haven't heard any noises for the last three days and three nights no noises so um and before that they were hearing noise every day during the day and every night so maybe these this rat and the squirrel were working together to drive the people nuts anyways that was one property and then the other place that was the rat that i caught that was eating the lunches and eating the cookies and the new people moving into that house they want the place rat free of course and so the workmen uh called me and said look we can't let our new customers move into this new house that we're building for them um if it's got rats in it so you come and get rid of the rats and that's the guy i caught and i think that's probably the only one in there because it's a very rat proof house it's a brand new house and it's totally rat proof at least it is now i did some exclusion work on the roof where i saw a few possible uh, entry points for rats um and so i put wire mesh over them and then this is another customer again and she i haven't checked her traps for about three weeks or months or so and one rat, one mouse, and one bird, one finch in the traps there. So, just a typical day this time of the year. The cold spell we've just had a couple of weeks ago killed everything off. I'm not getting many rats, but I get a trickle, as you can see. So, uh, I get a trickle, and I resolve some pretty serious problems. Two problems resolved today. That one, and that one. It's really nice. Nice for the customer, nice for me nice for my bank account nice for my knowledge my my knowledge bank and uh generally everybody's happy when you get rid of the source of the noise and the worry and uh great so now i've got to sort my traps out what ones need to be tweaked tonight that one's all right a lot of these ones need to be have nails put on them and uh, generally got to tidy them up and the ones that are soaking wet with water I'm going to dry them out as usual I like to have dry traps I don't care about clean traps clean traps uh, never wash your traps always let the, the rat dirt and the rat smell build up on them I'm sure that's what brings the rats right into my traps because my traps smell of other rats some of these traps have killed a hundred rats so the other rats smell those other rats and they come right into it and then they hit the peanut butter and the cinnamon and everything else but never ever wash your rat traps um the main thing is keep them dry so the peanut butter doesn't go soggy and runny and um rats don't like wet things keep the traps dry keep lots of peanut butter on lots of cinnamon and uh if it gets moldy replace it if it dries hard it's good for years it's good indefinitely i've set some of these baits and put the, the trap in a dry warm place and the peanut butter is hardened nicely and i've checked that trap every month for a year and nothing and then suddenly bang i get a rat in it so and i didn't have to touch it i didn't have to rebate it for a year it was there and just catching that one rat is makes that trap worthwhile earned its keep just one rat a year one rat every two years because that could be the hundred thousand dollar rat that you just caught on your four dollar trap <laughs> okay folks so it's been a busy day today lots of exclusion work resolved two new customer problems 
Um, checked another established customer, got rid of her rat, and mouse, and bird, and reset her traps. And um, I was using a live trap for a while to try and catch this squirrel up in the attic. Um, but I didn't catch the squirrel. I didn't catch anything in the attic. And those people swore black and blue that that's where the thing was. So initially I just put all my traps up in the attic, including the live trap. And um, didn't catch anything for a week. And then I said, okay, I'm going to do it my way. I'm just going to ignore what these people told me. I'm just going to trap the whole building like I usually do. And as soon as I got underneath in the crawl space, I thought, bingo, lots of fresh rat sign and uh, dark. And this is where they go. And usually if the rat is up in the wall or even up in the attic every day, every night. Well, during the daytime, it goes down underneath the building because that's where it started off. Uh, it's probably going to nest there. It feels more comfortable there. People aren't going into that very much, if at all. Dark, smells of earth. And uh, that's where I catch about 90% of my rats is under houses, under in the crawl space. Okay, I got some work to do on these traps, uh, organizing at the end of the day, and uh, good trapping everybody. Push the like button. Don't forget my ebook, The Rat Trapper's Handbook. Available only as an ebook, only from Amazon.com. And it's only $9.99 US. Okay, good trapping. Bye for now.